Hey guys, Silversaurus here, welcome to a new video. So, in previous videos, I've unboxed a lot of junk silver, which is like your old coinage. Junk silver is just coins that were constitutional, so ex circulation, like in the UK. These are no longer part of our fiat monetary system, but they used to be. In the US, I know there's, uh, you know, still the same system, but they've just debased from being silver, you know, 90% down to 40% down to no silver. And uh, so, yeah, what we've basically got is these old silver coins. They are junk silver, the constitutional silver. So I asked, um, I'm often asked where I get my junk silver. You know, you see me unbox some pretty hefty bags of silver. You know, sometimes it's uh, two kilos, sometimes it might be five kilos, and uh, sometimes it might just be a few hundred grams. So... Not going to just say, you know, head to your local dealer, although that is an option. I've just got some different ways of buying that you might not have considered. So some of it is just being in the right place at the right time. So I might just happen to go on a forum or go on, uh, you know, an auction site and just see a really good deal. And I'm just at the right time and there I am, I'm the first one in or I'm, uh, you know, just spotting an undervalued uh, listing. So it does happen, but the bulk of mine uh, come from a certain dealer, the bulk of my junk silver coinage. So how I sort of came across them, um, I was basically visiting any local coin shops or dealers or pawn shops or sort of we buy gold type shops that you see all over the world. Um, you could, if there is one, perhaps go to an antique shop or a flea market, or a car boot sale, or a garage sale, um, something along those lines. You could also try and message a refinery, uh, somewhere that deals with, you know, a lot of uh, silver and gold products. But, um, you know, each of those are going to have their own pros and cons. You know, maybe you're not buying anywhere near enough to make it worthwhile for a refinery to take seriously. But maybe a local coin shop is... Uh, you know, quite happy to have someone who they can just give a call and buy, you know, multiple pieces of gold and silver. So we're mainly talking about the silver. Um, you might get some deals for gold as well, but what I basically did was just go and chat to, you know, these different people, the different shops, different dealers, and uh, just tell them what you're after, you know, how much, if you've got a particular budget, maybe leave your number and, uh, I would say as well, go and visit multiple times. Um, and the reason why I would go and visit them in person rather than just pick up the phone or flick them an email or a text, it just shows that, you know, you're willing and you're there and you're, you know, you just stand out from all the other people that can't be bothered. So it just puts you um, ahead of them really, doesn't it? So you've got, you know, you've got that little advantage. Similar, you know, if you're buying property, you know, you could go and uh, just click on uh, the, the property website in your area and just send a message and, uh, oh, okay, you know, you've, you've made a, an inquiry, but if you physically, you know, go to the estate agent, you know, give them a call, speak to them and speak to them regularly enough, then they're going to get to know you. Like, oh, it's this guy again. You know, oh, he must be interested. He keeps asking. You know, it's not like you've just asked once and then left. You know, you keep coming back. So why would they deal with you and not, just somebody else or chuck them on the website. So it's easy money, really. If you've got, you know, a, a certain budget and, uh, you know, this person knows it and you're ready and you've, you know, you're there waiting, you'll come and pick it up, then uh, it's, you know, it's in their interest. You know, if a dealer's got a list, you know, and take photos of loads and loads of coins and he can just sell them all to you in one transaction, it saves a lot of work for them and maybe they just can't be bothered on that particular day. Maybe someone walks in with bags and bags of these coins and is like, you know, what can you give me? They make the, you know, they make the transaction, they buy them and the dealer's thinking, ah, oh, I just want to go to the pub and see my mates and whatever it is that, you know, they might have another hobby, they might be busy, they might be tired and they might just say, oh, you know what? I'll ring that guy or I'll ring that girl, or I'll ring that person and just see, you know, and they might just have a good deal for you. Um, some other, you know, other reasons. Maybe you're not actually such a big buyer. Maybe you're just kind of getting started and you're quite a small buyer. 
then maybe they think, oh, that's, you know, it'd be nice just to help out, you know, the small guy, you know, oh, let's give them, uh, let's give them a call and get them started because they might become a bigger customer in the future. Maybe they just like helping. Maybe they've got a bit of spare time on their hands. Um, another reason, you know, they might just be clearing out. I, I went to a local coin shop um, last year and he had 20 odd kilos of scrap silver that was going to be melted. It was all, you know, ex jewelry and bits and pieces that had just accumulated over the years and silver price was going up. So he was like, yeah, it's worth sorting all that out now. And yeah, I could have bought all that scrap silver if I wanted it. It's not really my thing and the amount of space it was taking up, like his entire shop floor was covered in bags of silver. And, you know, if I just, oh, well, I'll take them now instead of, you know, having to mess about taking them to the refinery or post them away or whatever he was doing, he could have just got rid of more there and then with the cash. You know, they just would do, wouldn't they? Um, another another thing as well with the junk silver, maybe the refinery won't give them quite as much as you will. But if you give them, well, if you give them spot price, the refinery might have been giving them less and uh, you might be the better, better bidder, really. You might be giving them more money. So there are, you know, many, many different reasons why a dealer might deal with you or a coin shop might deal with you. And uh, you could just be in the right place at the right time. So it's always worth asking. Just, you know, be honest about what you want and be reliable as well. So when I bought um, 300 half crowns and, you know, another couple hundred the same week, uh, the dealer just sent me a message. You know, he's like, I've got some half crowns coming in. I just said, yeah, I'll take them. And uh, then he's like, yeah, there's nearly 300 of them though. I said, yep, give them all. And uh, then there was, you know, a couple more coming in. And he knows roughly what I've got to spend uh, in a month. And he did, well, yeah, let's uh, let's get them sold. And as soon as they've come through the door, you know, he's opened the package, checked through them. And within 10 minutes, you know, he's uh, he's talking to me, he's got an answer and the money's on, his, on the way to him. So from a, you know, a coin dealer's perspective, how good is that? And uh, yeah, many, many reasons. So... You know, you could obviously stand on the street corner with a sign around your neck saying, I buy gold and silver, but, you know, you probably don't want to be uh, advertising to everybody, you know, same as you don't want to perhaps a sign on your apartment door saying, you know, come in, I've got loads of gold and silver, I'm always buying. Probably not the sort of thing you want to be shouting around, but you get the picture. So thanks for watching. Hopefully it's given you some different ideas. And I'd love to know if you want to share any other, you know, ways you've come across that are perhaps a bit more... Um, unexpected that you've come across gold and silver and uh, we'll talk soon.